I know it's pretty dark, but this all happened on an island behind me. The officer who saved the man's life is a 20 year veteran. His knowledge of this area and as you mentioned, Aaron, his quick thinking made all the difference in this situation. Take a look. I got somebody flagging me down on the island right now. Sterling Heights police officer Sean Birch races to Lakeside Pond Saturday, where he would save a man trying to take his own life. 911, where's your emergency? Just moments earlier, dispatchers received a chilling call. One of my first cousins on uh, Facebook, on live, he uh, posted on live saying goodbye, and he's like in the woods. By trying to commit suicide. Police Chief Dale Dwojikowski says the suicide attempt was being live streamed on social media. Officers first responded to Dodge Park but found no one. Quick thinking prompted them to ping the man's phone to find his location, leading officers to the area of Lakeside Mall. The officer that works in that area knew that there was not a large uh, wooded area except for one spot. It's an island in the middle of the Lakeside Pond. A woman flags down Officer Birch the moment he arrives. So our officer ran across the bridge into the wooded area, and right when he got there, he saw the guy hanging, um, instantly grabbed him, lifted him up as good as he could, took out his pocket knife and cut the noose down and got him down to the ground, and miraculously, the guy ended up living. 30 seconds, one way or the other, this guy's not gonna make it. Police say the man was taken to a local hospital. Officer Birch lauded for his heroic efforts. He already written up for a life-saving award and well-deserved. Psychiatrist Dr. Gerald Chiner says fall is a peak season for suicides and the pandemic has the potential to make things worse. He says there are red flags to be on the lookout for to get vulnerable loved ones the help they need. Well, the warning signs would be someone who isolates themselves, someone who doesn't return phone calls, someone who's given up on their hobbies uh, and they don't, uh, they stop exercising, they stop playing golf, they stop reading books, uh, they withdraw from other people. Uh, you talk to them and they can't make conversation. Uh, and the answer to seeing those warning signs is first of all, asking. You can't put ideas in someone's head and you can't hurt someone by asking a question. Are you all right? I'm worried. The Sterling Heights Police Department urging anyone struggling with mental illness or thinking about suicide to call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, that number 1-800-273-TALK, 1-800-273-TALK. Huel, Taryn? Randy, a lot of us talk about the problems with Facebook, but in this case, Facebook may have also helped to save a life because sadly this man was about to stream his own death, but luckily somebody knew what was about to happen and was unable to contact police. That's right, and something that uh, Dr. Gerald Chandra, he mentioned during our interview is that oftentimes there are cries for help and even someone going through the motions, uh, preparing to do what this young man was getting ready to do, there's always a cry for help and someone uh, urging someone to sort of get involved in this case, that was Facebook uh, going live on social media. There are always warning signs and there's always an opportunity in many cases to sort of talk someone down, to do something to intervene and to save a life. And thankfully that was the case in this case. Well, great work by police tonight, Randy. Thank you for that live report. That's right.